the other big thing that's happening is we're getting alternative Bitcoin implementations, right? So we started with Satoshi's code, that was Bitcoin. That was the only thing that Bitcoin was. Um, other people are re-implementing Bitcoin in all sorts of different languages, on all sorts of different platforms, which is a fantastic thing. I fully support that. We just need to have a good test plan to make sure that the alternative implementations don't screw things up. Um, so usability and features. In the very next release, the 0.4 release, which will happen as soon as we fix the bugs in it, um, has wallet encryption. So you can enter a passphrase and the private keys in your, in your wallet will be protected by that passphrase. So even if somebody gets your, your wallet file, unless they also get your passphrase, uh, your, your, your bitcoins will be secure. So the next couple things that actually are on the, the short list because we already have code for them um, are importing and exporting private keys. So this is the idea of, you know, I have some bitcoins in, in this wallet here. Instead of sending them over the network, um, you could export the private keys and import them into some other wallet. Um, people have been asking that for a long time. And um, doing some usability stuff. So John Smith has a um, graphical user interface that uses a different toolkit and it's just much nicer. I mean, one of the problems we've been having is nobody likes the user interface toolkit that Satoshi chose. WX widgets is... I don't know of anybody who stands up and says, yeah, that's the one we should be using. So um, after the 0.4 release, the plan is to, to move to this you know, nicer, prettier Bitcoin. Um, 